All right, I'm gonna try and get out in the woods, but man, it is just totally wet and sloppy. Although the new road is beautiful. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. Today is January 26, 2020 and today's mission is A, just to get outside a little because it's halfway decent and B, I'm going to start prepping some areas for uh, skid steer clearing to improve uh, habitat for deer and other critters. So instead of hinge cutting, what I'm going to do is make some clear cuts and some of the trees that I'm going to dig up here today are too big for the skid steer to mow down. And I'm going to talk to you about us potentially getting a stick skid steer and we're going to look at some finances while we're digging. So let's get into it. Alright, so I'm trying to pluck some of these bigger trees here in an area that we're going to clear with a skid steer, hopefully. So it's nice and soft, so they come out a little easier. Most of these bigger ones are honey locust, uh, elm, maybe some ash. But it's a lot easier to get them out when it's super soft like this here in the winter. And I am uh, am looking into a skid steer. I really would like to, <clears throat> to get one, but i got to look at all my options. Uh, I might team up with, uh, with Victor. He's got a brand new skid steer. He's doing land clearing now. I might do just a tiny bit of that just to help pay the... Uh, payment on it you know to just basically bring in and pay for the machine or at least part of it so I'm um, anyways I'm prepping this ground here to bring in Victor skid steer and his uh, heavy duty mower a lot of these trees up to three four five inch they could take all that right down and also what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna go into an area that I've hinge cut right down in here and I'm just gonna wipe that all out. I've decided that uh, I think it's better just having a clear cut for the wildlife and for cover and food than having the hinge cut. And I'll show you. This is uh, so far the biggest tree that I've encountered. Here. 
Yeah, so I'm not sure why it is we continue to learn valuable lessons, even later in life, but I'm just l looking at this and doing all my homework thinking, why didn't I look at a skid steer like, you know, six, seven years ago? This would just, this would mow our farm and my trails and everything probably a tenth of the time the tractor does it, maybe a quarter of the time, but I mean, this is really probably the best tool for a farm. So I'll be doing my homework trying to find ways to pay for one of these, if possible. It's a relatively new product, this super severe duty one. Again, this is just what I want. Um, I have to find ways of making it happen financially. Speaking of which, um, part of it is we're going to be refinancing our property. For sure the Illinois property and, and possibly the Kentucky. So just as an example, you know, the rates are almost half of what we're paying now. So if we go with a 15 year note, we'll literally save 500 a month. A 20 year note, we'll save 735 bucks a month. And if we stretch it out on a 25 year note, we'll literally save 900 a month on, on the same amount that we owe. Which you can easily pay for a skid steer payment. So I'm just looking at all options and seeing if I could make something like this happen. I mean, I am considering, like I said, I'm doing homework. I may consider selling Megatron 2.0, the rehab tractor. Because nowadays, with all these, with all the, the new attachments they have for skid steers. Okay, to some newer people or some people that aren't aware this might look like you're like destroying land and destroying a forest but it's actually quite the opposite these are pretty much junk trees as far as wildlife goes so the goal here is to create new openings in the woods where the Sun can hit the forest floor and what that's going to do is that's going to stimulate growth of native vegetation it's going to provide a lot of food down towards the forest floor for deer and other animals and it's going to grow into a thick cover as well as the food so yeah you're kind of tearing out trees but 
there's plenty of trees where we live at we need more forest food on the floor and we need more cover so that's the goal of this future project right here kind of a look as I'm out looking for my phone clip holster fell off somewhere in here but it's kind of a mess I might need to bring the chainsaw in here but man we get that skid steer in here all this stuff take all of this stuff down mulch almost all of it up looking ahead to next year already <laughs> 